Hi, this is Pratiksha Jain. In this video, you're going to learn with me the connection of DHT11 moisture sensor with Node MCU. So let's begin with it. Before the connection, I would like to explain the code and the connection with DHT. These are the required files you need to include Arduino.h, ESP8665.h, DHT.h. In this line, you need to enter the name of your Wi Fi or whichever hotspot you're connected with or uh, whichever router you're connected with. Here you need to enter your Wi-Fi password, Wi-Fi password, and the IPv4 address of the connection. Uh, every connection is made with the help of addresses, whether it's a connection with the Wi-Fi or any kind of uh, technical connection mostly. So that is made with the help of addresses. So here you need to enter the address of IP uh, of your Wi-Fi or the connection made. Here I have DHT pin five as I'm using digital pin for the connection with the node MCU of DHT and node MCU. I have written your DHT pin uh, 5. Then uh, now uh, you have different types of uh, sensor for getting temperature and humidity value. So I have used DHT 11. So that's the reason I have written a DHT type DHT 11. If you are using DHT 22 or DHT 21, then you can go for these uh, these lines and you can comment this line. Next, you need to create a class type thing right now. Here you need to create a class type thing that uh, suppose we are creating a class of DHT and therein we are passing DHT pin and DHT type. So my DHT type is DHT 11 and my DHT pin that's going to get transferred is 5 over here. So there's a function called white setup wherein now we have two sensors. One is DHT 11 and another is a uh, moisture sensor. So for moisture sensor, I am taking the input as analog. So I have A0. That means I have connected my pin to A0. I'm taking that as an input. So this is one thing. This is for moisture sensor. I'll just comment this and write it as moisture sensor. Now, this line is for moisture sensor. I'm using this band for making the connection or getting the output. So whenever uh, this band gets started, uh, this will prompt as DHT11 output. And my DHT will start working. When I comment, uh, when I write this DHT.begin, that means my the sensor is going to start working. Now, after all this, I know that I need a Wi-Fi connection for a node MCU and sensors to work for node MCU to send the data, the data to the MySQL, which we are getting from the sensors. So we need Wi-Fi also. So Wi-Fi.begin, which will use SSID and password, which we had uh, given in starting. SSID is the name of your Wi-Fi and the password is a password of your Wi-Fi. So that will help in making a making a Wi-Fi connection. So it is stating as connecting to Wi-Fi. Once it gets connected, it will prompt as Wi-Fi connected. It will prompt as Wi-Fi connected. If it is still getting connected, then it will give a delay of uh, one second and it will say that it is still connecting. After this, let's go to void loop. Now what this is doing is it is taking uh, data from sensor. So we are we are having a variable moisture uh, for in data type and we are reading it in analog. You can also go for digital. So while making the connection, you can just change the pins to uh, a digital pin instead of analog pin. We are taking the temperature and humidity in float. So we are reading the values over here. And if any of the value is not integer, it is not a number. So it will prompt us fail to read the DHT 11. Or uh, you can also write or that fail to read the uh, fail to read fail to read sensors sensors data maybe after this I'm just simply printing it with a delay of 10 seconds so this is done with the printing part now if I want to send it to a uh, MySQL I want to store it in MySQL I'm not using ThingSpec or any any uh, third party domain there is no need of any third party domain over here I mean. There is no need of uh, making a uh, uh, making connection to any other website or taking help of any other website to make a connection of or uh, taking help of any domain kind of thing. There is no need to do do so. You also you can also connect it via things. You can take the data of the sensors on the thing spec and then upload it on uh, MySQL or Firebase as your requirement. So I'm your what I'm doing here is I'm just taking the data from the sensor to the PHP and while PHP I'm uh, sending it to storing it to MySQL database. So okay, uh, I I have. Uh, HTTP port 80 as I'm working with local host. So whatever is your port number, you just need to put it here and it will see whether the connection field or the connection is still there. After this, let us just upload everything to database. Now, in this part, uh, we are using get and not post. We are using get to store the data. So this is my link to the data. Uh, this is my link uh, to the PHP file. Now what will happen is the code will go through this line HTTP 
local host crop recommendation dhc 11 point uh, dhc 11 dot php and thus while whatever commands are there those commands will get run so uh, i have uh, created this folder crop recommendation exam and in that in this folder i have created dhc 11 dot php i will be showing that file also i'll be explaining that let us just look after this first so i have variable temperature humidity and moisture on the top as we saw before these So now these are getting stored. Uh, so these are getting stored in these variables now. Now we will be using these variables in the PHP file. Let us go on the PHP file. So this is my PHP file wherein I have created a connection with my database and if the database connection fails, it will return fail to connect. So you have uh, these values, get underscore temperature, get underscore humidity, get underscore moisture. These values are being fetched from here and being stored in these variables again now these variables uh now these variables on the left hand side will be used to insert the data into the database so it's a simple query insert into dhc 11 temperature humidity and moisture these this is my table dhc 11 and these are my attributes in it so under these attributes my these values will be stored temperature humidity and uh, moisture so values are temperature humidity and moisture respectively and a query is being fired and the insertion and if it is successful it will insert insertion as success or else it will give an error that connection is being closed and uh client timeout this is the complete code and i have also explained the php part of it and i have also explained the php code let me just uh show you the connection of the sensors now okay so so the connection is like this i have like them also yeah so this is my dhd 11 you all can see this this is my dhc 11 this is my node mcu and this is my moisture sensor i hope this is visible this is my moisture sensor so the connection is like this that uh, the negative part that is the ground of the dhc 11 the ground of the dhc 11 you can see here there is ground so the ground of the dhc 11 is to be connected to the ground of the node mcu so you can see here I have connected to node MCU. This is ground 10. Similarly, the other connections are being made of THT 11. Next is the moisture sensor. As I have put in the soil, so you can see the color of the moisture sensor has been changed. Okay. So, yeah. So, moisture sensor. This is the connection. Uh, this is the type of connection. A oh, wait. Okay, so this is my A0 pin, that is my analog pin. It is being connected to analog of moisture sensor, uh, sorry, node MCU. You can see the connections behind it. Okay, so, and yeah. Now, if you want to see the database part, I have just shown the code over here. If you want to see the working of this project, you can uh, go through the link, which I have mentioned in the description below. That shows a complete crop, crop protection using these sensors with the help of php and mysql and there is a website web page also which is exactly which is really doing a crop prediction part so you can go through that thank you and do let me know if there are any suggestions what kind of videos you all want you all want to see thank you